All right, Brewers spring training day 12 has happened, and the Brewers would start with a practical 1-2-3 except for a Reese Hoskins single. The White Sox in the bottom of the first would have a practical 1-2-3 except for a Rafael Ortega walk. The first two outs of the second would be a Jefferson Carroll ground out and a Vinny Capper strikeout. Brewer Hicklin would hit a home run out to center to make it 1-0 Brewers. From C, spit, curveball, whack to center. Back goes Ortega getting spun around. It's over his head and gone. Brewer Hicklin goes deep to straightaway center field to make it 1-0 Brewers. His first home run in camp came over the weekend. Yanni Hernandez will get the third out and a pop-up to third. The White Sox would get 1-2-3. One, 1-2-3 two, three. One, two, three strikes, you're out! 1-2-3 strikes, you're out! 1-2-3 three strikes, you're out! Then the Brewers would have a 1-2-3. 1-2-3 one, strikes, you're out! 1-2-3 strikes, you're out! 1-2-3 strikes, you're out! Chucky Robinson would hit a triple out to left. Danny Mendick would reach on an error, and then he'd be caught stealing. A Rafael Ortega sack fly would tie it up at one. Moncada would get walked, Jimenez would get single, and then Andrew Vaughn would get walked. Jake Polinchik would replace Aaron Ashby. A bases loaded Kevin Pillar walk would have the White Sox have the lead two to one. Paul DeHong would get the third out and a fly out to center. Jordan Leisure would replace Dylan Cease. Then the Brewers would have a one, two, three inning. One, two, three strikes, you're out! One, two, three strikes, you're out! One, two, three strikes, you're out! Substitutions plus Abner Uribe for Jake Polinchek. Grondo, fielding error, double play. Brian Shaw would replace Jordan Leisure. Vinny Capper would get the first out and a fly out to left. Brewer Higlin would hit a single, then he'd steal second base. A Yanni Hernandez RBI single would tie it up at two. Luis Lara would ground over the second out. Andre Monasterio would hit a single pass short. Reese Hoskins would be hit by a pitch, then Hedbert Perez would replace him. A Reese Walling two RBI single would make the Brewers have the lead, four to two. Wes Clark would hit his fourth home run of spring training, making it seven to two Milwaukee. Pitch to Clark, driven out to right. Pilar back, gone. Fourth home run of the spring for Wes Clark, and that one goes oppo. The kid can hit. Frazier Ellard would replace Brian Shaw. Jefferson Carroll would strike over the third out. Hedbert would be at DH, and then Elvis Piguero would replace Abner Uribe. The White Sox would go 1-2-3. Whole bunch of White Sox substitutions plus Alex Spies for Frazier Ellard. Vinny Capper would hit a single out to left. Brewer Hicklin would get walked, and Yoferi Rodriguez would replace him. A Yanni Hernandez RBI single would make it 8-2, then he would be replaced by Gregory Barrios. Luis Lara would strike out, then Andre Monasterio would hit a double play. Brewer substitutions plus Tyler Wessner for Elvis Piguero. The first two outs of the White Sox half of the inning was a Gavin Sheets pop-up and then a Kevin Pillar ground out. Back-to-back walks would happen by Mike Moustakas and Mark Payton. Corey Lee would replace Chucky Robinson. Corey Lee would ground out for the third out. White Sox substitutions plus Tanner Banks for Alex Spies. The Brewers would go 1-2-3. Whole bunch of Brewer substitutions. The White Sox would go 1-2-3. Mr. Side Armor himself, Tim Hill, would replace Tanner Banks. My friend Darian Miller would get the first out. Yadhir Arianama would hit a single. Yo, Ferry Rodriguez would get walked. Gregory Barrios would ground into a double play for the third out. Brett Wichrowski would replace Tyler Wessner and Tim Elko would replace Eli Jimenez. Tim Elko would strike out. Peyton Burdick would fly out to right. Gavin Sheets would pop up to third for the third out. Substitutions plus former Brewer Jake Cousins for Tim Hill. The Brewers would have a 1-2-3. Justin King would come in for Brett Wichrowski. To end out the game, the White Sox would go 1-2-3. The Brewers' perspective Brewers player of the game goes to Brewer Hicklin with a home run and a single. If you like what you see, hit the like and subscribe, and I'll see you in some more videos.